Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining us for our second session of our July Wealthy Wednesday. We are excited to be with you and appreciate that you've decided to join us. Um, today's topic is how to build a globally diversified and balanced portfolio. We've got Scott Pickens, CEO of Wealth Migrate, and Mark Robinson that Scott will introduce, but comes with over 30 years experience in the space and is really eager to help everyone diversify and balance their portfolio and reach the financial freedom that they seek. Now, earlier today, the head of our revenue, Gabriella, chaired a session around our deals, our platforms and how to invest. So tonight we are not going to be covering that, but if you would like a recording of our earlier session and weren't able to attend, please pop into the chat box that you would like a recording of session one and I will gladly provide that. Speaking about diversification, we have members that have joined us from all over the world. So if you don't mind, say hi, let us know where you're joining us from. And as always, I will be monitoring the question box. So please post any questions along the way and we will get Scott and Mark to answer them. Now, Mark, just before we joined, let me know that he has got a special gift for you. So towards the end of the presentation, Mark will be sharing that with you. So please do stay online. And with that, I'm going to hand over to Scott. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Lee, and uh, wonderful to have Mark online. And again, you know, just to reiterate, really grateful that he's here. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, Sydney time. So um, these, someone's going to invent something at one point where, where time zones are agnostic, you know, because <laughs> the time zones are, are pretty tricky to deal with. So anyway, welcome to everyone. I'm always excited on a wealthy Wednesday. Thanks to everyone that's put in the... Uh, the comments. I want to get right into it. So just quickly, a bit of a disclaimer, what we're talking about tonight is not financial advice. Uh, we are sharing with you um, our experiences and, and financial education, but it's not advice. Uh, so it's just important that, that we get into that. I wanted to just uh, uh, talk about the last two months. So two months ago, we did a webinar on Wealthy Wednesday, where we spoke a lot about Rich Dad Poor Dad and the fact that most of us have been on this journey with Rich Dad Poor Dad, and there was a, an interview that we did with Chad Pope, and they talk a lot about the cash flow quadrant, the E, the S, the B, and the I. Now, I'm not going to go into all the detail tonight because we went through this, and again, you can watch the recording from the webinar two months ago. But what's really important is that the employee, it's about active income, it's about hard work, no security, no time. The self-employed, you know, it's doctors, accountants, lawyers, it's about large debts, insufficient funds, and stress, and 95% of the people in the world live like this and only have 5% of the funds. Then you've got a passive income, which are the business owners. And I always joke with this, it's easy work, stability, and spare time. I haven't quite figured that part out yet. Um, but ultimately, what we're talking about tonight is the investor part. It's no debts, plenty of money, and it's freedom. And 5% of the world's population um, is in this space, and they have 95% of the wealth. And the question that we asked people two months ago is the how. How do you actually do that? We've all read the books. We've all read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but how do you actually do it? And so we shared with you our four-step wealth formula where you can go and, you know, do the, it's a 60-minute course. You can do the freedom. Um, you can use the, the, the freedom calculator and you can also do a wealth plan. Um, so I'm going to share with you a link where you can literally go. And then we did a breakfast where, again, we went practical of what we do and how we invest, basically. And if you look at it, I always use this, this golden triangle behind me here, or the one that you've got on the screen. It's from Simon Sinek. And most people, when it comes to wealth, are trying to figure out the how and the what. Okay, but what you've got to really start with is the why. And so tonight, what we, what we you know, I'm really, really excited because we've got a guest that I was introduced to through Chad Pope, and I know that Chad's online. So Chad, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, it's come through a mutual, you know, through through the Roger Hamilton and the Genius U group. But Chad got hold of me and he said, you really need to speak to Mark. And he was absolutely raving about you, Mark. And uh, anyway, Chad, Chad set up a, a, a meeting between the three of us. I was really impressed with what you were doing, so much so that I've actually personally signed up um, to, to, what, uh, to what Mark and, and his team are doing. And it's really, really interesting for me because what I liked about it is I resonated with Mark's story quite quickly. You know, he comes from the financial planning background. He'll talk, you know, about the ex-financial planner. I know, Lee, you said uh, 30 years experience. I took this off LinkedIn, so maybe, Mark, it's time to update your LinkedIn. But he's run his, um, his own portfolio worth millions of dollars. Um, and what I found really interesting from his LinkedIn profile 
is he believes the financial industry is a sham. And because of that, they set up the International Academy for Wealth. And if I share with you just very quickly here, because I think this is this is really important. Sorry, I've got a bunch of tabs that I opened. So you're just going to have to bear with me while I go through to the tab that I want. And it is this tab here. So what I liked on the LinkedIn was I help everyday people create financial independence, learn the proven formula to build and accelerate your wealth. And if you go down and read about it here, it's basically, if you've ever considered designing a plan to attain your financial independence, then you've landed in the right place. For more than 23 years, I've been helping business owners, CEOs, and everyday people just like you who have a desire to take control of their financial future in order to truly create and experience financial independence. As an ex-financial planner who recently handed in his license, a story for another day, who has a strong background with the financial services industry, plus having run and managed several million dollars of business and investment assets on my own, one thing I can tell you, the current financial industry is a complete sham. Don't get me wrong, if you don't have any real desire to be truly wealthy, then relying on things like superannuation and negative gearing may be right up your alley. However, if you want to create true wealth and independence where you make and control the rules, then maybe I can help. Three things that you must know to succeed financially. How to create, how, sorry, how to establish your money rules. Everyone is different, so you must create and abide by your own investment rules. Effective complicated investment choices that truly create financial independence and financial literacy. So I think you get the point. And, you know, this is the, this is the, the, the International Academy of Wealth that I actually have signed up for personally. And what I found really interesting is that I've actually been given uh, an entire uh, group of homework because I've had my one-to-one -one with Mark to, to get going. And um, I've now got to go and do my whole financial check I've got to do my spending form, my starting point, my action plan, my dashboard, you know, where does my net worth want to be, et cetera, et cetera. I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a pricey of, um, of that, you know, for, for me personally, I think one of the most important things in life is to, to learn while doing. And so I'm, I'm actually on this uh, journey that, that, uh, that, we, that we are um, sharing with you tonight because I believe so much in building pal uh, balanced portfolios and, and what we're doing now. I've got a little bit of a surprise for you, Mark. And Lee, I know you said that we're not sharing um, our investment deals, but I did want to just share one thing before I hand over to Mark. And that is that Mark's going to talk a lot today about foundational assets. And what I wanted to share with you is that it is Wealthy Wednesday. And so what I thought I would do is that live on the screen, because Mark, I'm not sure has actually seen this, is um, I'm going to go in and again, Gabriella spoke earlier today, Gabriella Farris and the team spoke about some of the investments that are live. We had an industrial last week that's just closed that I invested in. We've got this um, office, um, which, which we call new office in Fort Lauderdale. We've got this multifamily, which is in, um, which is in uh, Ohio. And I just wanted to show you basically, I can go and invest in my own name. I can invest in my portfolio. I can literally go and read all the financial information. I can look at all the investment categories. I can download all the information. I can see the risks. I can do the returns calculator, including net fees and you know everything else. I can read about the sponsor and the due diligence. But let's just assume that I like this deal. And because it's Wealthy Wednesday, we've dropped our minimums to $97. So I can literally go in I can see completely clearly what my investment is, what my fees are. So there's complete transparency. I digitally sign the and I literally agree to make the investment. And Mark, in a little under a minute, you've just seen me invest in Ohio, America. Now, whether that was actually investing in a multifamily, a new office, uh, industrial, or even a medical, you've also team are here from Cashbox Global. We've done two structured notes with them and we're looking to bring out another structured note with them. So other alternatives. And I just wanted to share this with you because it's time to hand over to Mark now and really get into the DNA of what he wanted to share. But a lot of what he's going to share with you tonight, I believe, is truly, truly possible because you too can now actually invest using technology. And a lot of what Mark is sharing, I believe 10, 20 years ago, would have been much harder to build balanced portfolios because you needed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. I've just shown you how you can invest in global real estate in under a minute. And so if you want to take advantage of Wealthy Wednesday, don't forget that it's just open for this 24 hours. 
where you can literally participate from $100 um, and in all our deals. Mark, without further ado, I wanted to hand over to you. It's really, really, uh, sorry, I see here, Pierce says it's in Utah, much better state than uh, Ohio. Apologies. Uh, it was a bit like a deer in the headlights trying to remember which state it was. But uh, Mark, over to you. Really, really grateful that you're up at 3 a.m. in the morning to share with our community. I'm intrigued by what you've got to share tonight. And so, you know, I look forward to you sitting in the driver's seat. Fantastic. How are we, team? Are we all good? You are definitely very chirpy for someone coming to us from Australia at 3 a.m., Mark. We are excellent and grateful to have you on board. Oh, it's, it's what we do, right? Now, uh, guys, I've, I'll do my own disclaimer. Scotty, I hope you like this one. Warning, none of this is advice, not even general advice. This is purely my opinion. And as far as I'm aware, I'm still allowed opinion in this country. This for educational purposes only is based on the years of research I have personally undertaken. You can find this information yourself if you stopped watching Netflix, get off Facebook or Tinder. Your personal circumstance has not been taken into account at all. Can I get a bunch of yeses, guys, to let to know that this is just pure education and you could find this out yourself. Everything we do here at the International Academy of Wealth is actually back based on true facts uh, and not just assumptions. Fantastic. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. How many people on the line? I need way more yeses than that. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> Yeah, you got to get uh, you got to get this uh, crowd uh, engaged. Yeah, I got a ton of stuff to give away, team. Awesome. What do you reckon? That's more than half. Yeah, no, definitely. Excellent. It's good to see a couple of members on there as well. Now, one more disclaimer, guys. It doesn't quite work, probably, for most of this crowd. This is what I've used in the past. Note, past performances do not guarantee future results, but you knew that. If it did, we would just hand the All Blacks the 2023 World Cup. However, this is probably a bit more real. Am I right, team? <laughs> that was working perfectly up until 2019, just, just to be fair, right? Two in a row and then bam, out, gone. <laughs> So like Scott said, guys, I, I know I don't look that old, but yep, over 32 years in the financial services industry, right from way back when there were these things called checks in a bank. I have been a, a mortgage broker, a financial advisor. I've run a group of financial services company. I know exactly how the current financial system works, and it is actually geared for you to fail. And there's no other way to say it. It is just that way. We had this... Um, these figures we used to use a lot. And basically it was like 1% made it, 5% was uh, okay, you know, uh, or sort of wealthy. So there was like rich, wealthy, gonna be okay. But 65% of people are either gonna be broke or dead or dead broke, right? So if you think about it, if the current financial system was working, wouldn't those um, numbers actually change over the years? And they haven't in the 32 years that I've been in financial services. So I want you to truly understand that uh, we have a saying here in uh, the academy that uh, the financial institutions, they have got you right where they've educated you. Okay, and I can give you some examples if we've got time towards the end. Um, but at the end of the day, if you think about the way the languaging is, um, you know, right now, in, in, even in New Zealand, right, they're, they're looking to raise the pension or the, the, your, your pension from 65 to 67 and they've already started the spin that people want like to work, right? They want to work longer. What a load of crap, right? No one actually wants to work uh, in a job they hate. Now, I'm, I'm fortunate enough, guys. I built my life my way. Um, when my amazing wife, we, uh, when she first fell pregnant with our first child, we actually designed our businesses to suit that. And I'm one of the only dads that I know that has managed to actually see his two beautiful daughters um, grow up with so much time together. And they are such incredible, independent young women now. Um, and I, I saw my kids literally go to school and come home from school, right? And that was my goal from day one. And we've achieved that. I got uh, my youngest, I'm teaching her to drive now. So we're at that stage. She's got one more year of school. Um, and then, you know, that she'll be out running around the world like my, my eldest one as well. So if you guys want to truly 
understand how things work. One thing I want to be really clear is you don't need tens of millions of dollars uh, to become financially independent because the biggest asset I believe is your time. And that's one thing that I've always had control of. And so one of my mentors, Scott, just like you, rich dad, poor dad, right? Um, Robert Kiyosaki guy. I personally believe I'm wealthier than him purely because I'm in control of my time. Whereas he is consistently having to do this, having to do that, whatever the case may be. Whereas I choose to do what I want uh, when I want, which is why I'm here today sharing my story with you guys. Who'd like to win some cool prizes? I know that some of my members, yeah, fantastic. So we're probably gonna give away around $500 worth of Ethereum today. For those of you that don't know what Ethereum, that's a big fan a thing that I like to give away. Um, and Scott, I, I'm actually gonna let you decide, mate, uh, that 500 bucks, because I'm more than happy if, if people are on your platform, more than happy for them to actually invest that, that 100, because it's gonna be like five, right? Five, $500 lots. Um, and you know, if you want to, I'm more than happy for them to that actually to be put on your platform if that's what they want to do, whatever, whatever is going to work. Perfect. Yeah. Well, if it's, uh, sounds wonderful <laughs> as, as, as I get taught in the financial industry, it sounds too good to be true. I know, right. <laughs> what do you mean? This dude's just getting on giving away stuff like real money. Yeah. Well, the thing is team, I really want to have engaged. So uh, I'm going to make sure Lee and Scott, uh, you know, choose five winners for that 500 bucks. Uh, we are giving away a copy of my book that you can download, but I'm in that era that uh, I like old school. So, yep, doesn't matter where you are. If you do, I've got two, four, five copies. More than happy to post them wherever you are in the world. Okay, so if you do want old school copies, happy to do that as well. No strings attached. Is everyone okay with that? Imagine one of those things. <laughs> so before i go on guys who's got some questions what's what's the biggest takeaway you'd like to get out of today's session are the books worth way more than 500 dollars ethereum without a doubt <laughs> love it <laughs> sherry ann you've got the first 100 bucks worth i'm going to give that to you that's the best comment love it cool all righty. So what's the biggest takeaway, team? I want you to, sorry, what's the biggest, uh, what's the one thing that you'd like to get out of today? I'd like to just acknowledge that the Springboks won the last World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I love about the, the relationship with New Zealand, Australia and South Africa, right? We, once we were knocked out, the, we were for South Africa. End of story. You know, no questions asked. There was no way we wanted those other buggers to win. <laughs> so mark we've got some um suggestions coming through um we have got what is your secrets how to invest in cryptocurrencies getting the best information and prioritizing investment opportunities asset allocation um breaking the model of normal financial how to manage time some direction on portfolio planning how to create predictability monthly cash flow. Um, yep. More about your partnership with Scott and diversifying your portfolio with Lee. <coughs> okay, cool. Hey, well, the good thing about it, team, is uh, technically Scott and I don't have a partnership, right? He's actually one of our students right now. And um, I've been uh, talking about Wealth Migrate even before we... Uh, personally met because through our due diligence uh, on opportunities online, we actually came across Scott and through through Roger Hamilton as well. Um, and on a number of our sessions, we would go, hey, if you wanted to invest in real estate, tokenized real estate, go to this company. And, you know, so we're, I've known Scott for about, uh, I think it's about four years, Scott, online, watching watching what you've been doing. Uh, and you're so far ahead of the curve, right? It's incredible. And I love Love that part. Um, one of the things that that's going to help you guys get out of the current system, guys, is realize you don't need a bank anymore, right? So my wife and I, we're pretty much 95, maybe 98% unbanked. We only use banks because some of our clients still want to. 
uh, and to get mortgages to buy a property. That's it. All right. So that's one of the biggest things that I could suggest you guys do is start to educate yourself on how to unbank. And the reason why I say that, and I know I've gone a little bit off topic here, but guys, you know, we you can go get a term deposit, right? At 12 to 15 percent per annum. So think about when was the last time you had a term deposit at your bank at 10 percent plus per annum. Yeah. So there are ways out there. So I want you to really understand that that um, you know, the, the financial companies have got you right where they educate you. I think so far, we've got uh, <clears throat> over 350 members, guys, worldwide. Uh, and uh, the, I believe that the country that has done the best education is, our, our, is Japan. And I'm a massive fan of Japan. I'm gonna live there a lot um, when my youngest is, has left home. Uh, and the fact is, guys, they, they've been educated that a 2% return is, is good, right? A 5% plus return is fantastic. But believe it or not, they've also been educated that a minus return, a minus 2% return is okay and you should live with it. All right. So I want you to truly understand that it comes down to the way they, I know, Lee, right? Yeah, just the way they're educated. That's how good the banks are. Okay. They are so good at educating you. And another example on that, uh, guys, here in Australia, um, within the first nine months of someone buying their first home, right, they have a brand new car, right? So they have not just a, not just a big mortgage, but they also have a car loan, sometimes two, right? And if you think about it, how long do you have to stay in a job when you've got a mortgage, two car loans, you know, a personal loan, three credit cards, like you are stuck at your desk, desk or job forever, okay? And if I, like I said, if I've got time, I'll share a couple of examples of that. Um, in fact, uh, one of the slides I could share with you shows a $38,000 credit card will take you 141 years to pay off, okay? So they've got you right where they educated you, team. <laughs> But should we get in and to, uh, talk about the topic on hand, which is how to build an actual perfect portfolio? Is everyone cool with that? Yep. Awesome. So, team, this is the old way uh, to build a perfect portfolio. Uh, the old way to build a portfolio, certainly not perfect. Uh, and this comes from my years of experience as a financial advisor. And this is exactly what we had to go through um, when I was a financial advisor. So the old way to build it would be that you would actually uh, come into our office or I was actually a bit like Scott, way ahead of my time. Most of mine were done on Skype, right? So I had clients around Australia uh, way before everyone else did. And what you would happen, guys, is you would have to tick a box, right? Whether it was low, medium or high risk. They, they didn't take into consideration anything else other than about 13, 14 questions to, to figure out how you wanted to invest. And if you actually ticked uh, medium as an example, right, this is pretty much how your portfolio would look. You'd have 5% in cash, 5% in Australian shares, 20% in Australian property, 30% international shares, 10% international property. That is pretty much the, the way that your portfolio would look. Uh, should you get it from a, a bank or a financial planner or whatever the case may be. Now, if you didn't tick one of those boxes, guys, uh, basically the older you are, the lower the risk profile would be. And the younger you are, the higher the risk profile would be. Now, what the issue was is because you had that box ticked or they, they put you in that, that category of either low, medium or high, you had to keep, but basically your portfolio had to look like that. So what that means is if uh, in this example, Australian shares went up and international shares went down, we actually had to sell, right? The performing asset to prop up the non-performing asset to get back to that balance, to actually get back to what your risk profile said. Does that make sense, team? Yeah. Yeah. Does it make sense from an from a investing perspective to sell something that's working, to prop up something that's not working? Well, it's interesting. I mean, <laughs> in the last crash, that's where the biggest property opportunities actually came because the funds had to sell their best performing assets to recapitalize their balance sheets, you know, to effectively fund their bad performing assets. So it's pretty much what you're saying, the same thing. 
it's pretty good, right? So from a from an educated uh, investor perspective, that was the best time because we were then literally grabbing quality assets at a discounted price, yeah. which we're going to talk about that shortly, right? Yeah, you're right. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, does not make sense at all. Now, guys, I'm going to share a um, <clears throat> a very short video now. Uh, it's uh, from a guy called Andy Tanner, and he's a rich dad, poor dad mentor, uh, and he's just going to talk to you about how. Wall Street uh, works and the law of compounding cost. The money go. If the stock market is all time high, as I'm looking at these types of balances, you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, average rate of return, all those years they've been in it. Why is where, where did the money go? Don't take my word for this, please. I admonish people, study it for yourself. Right. The person who founded Vanguard is a man named John Vogel. He's right. written many books, he's a great. Uh, proponent of the small investor. In fact, he actually left the company he started, yeah. which was Vanguard. Uh, he actually started as a, as a MBA thesis, I believe, and uh -huh. said, I'm going to go do this. But he left the company. He's become somewhat of an advocate. Mm -hmm. And the way he teaches this is something every investor should investigate for themselves, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. It's called the law of compounding costs. Mm -hmm. And the way he states it is he gives an example uh, that I cite often of a worker who's say uh, 20 years old mm -hmm. and they look at an actuarial table and say, okay, he's going to die at 85. Mm -hmm. So the, the mutual fund companies can say, all right, that's 65 years of investing. We can get his money. How do we do this? Mm -hmm. Let's say they take, uh, he starts with a thousand dollars and doesn't add to it, just a thousand bucks. And he throws in the stock market and he gets maybe 8% a year. Mm -hmm. Well, the power of compounding is something else. Right? And that is over, over 65 years. That's going to wind up a little over one hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. That's the power of compounding. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that's if he gets the eight percent. Now that's what they're getting mm -hmm. behind the curtain. It's going at eight mm percent. -hmm. But if they take fees, let's say they take two percent, two and a half percent, mm -hmm. that means that on his statement, even though the money is actually compounding at eight, mm -hmm. he's compounding at five point five, mm -hmm. and in that same time period, he won't have one hundred forty grand. Mm -hmm. He'll thirty. Wow, makes that big a difference? $110,000 goes to the financial system, $30,000 to the worker. He wow. takes all of the risk, puts in all of the money. Wall Street takes none of the risk, puts in none of the money, and gets most of it. They get the lion's share. That's where <clears throat> the money goes. It goes in the pockets of Wall Street. So first, that's... And guys, he's being really conservative. Um, from the fee side of things. I remember when I was first learning, I had a really good mentor as a financial planner. And look, I don't, I don't uh, discount him as a person at all. He had very high integrity, but he was only doing what he was taught, right? So the mentor that I, I learned from, guys, we were charging 4% upfront, right? Just to give you the service that we had. And then 1% per, uh, per annum after that, right? On funds under management. We would then also use a platform that would charge 1%. And then the underlying funds that we went into would also charge around 1%. So there's 3% or 7% of your money disappearing in fees, right, in the first year alone. So when you start thinking about the law of compounding costs, like he's talking about, most of the money was going to your financial advisor, was going to Wall Street, it doesn't whatever financial institution you're investing in and through, right? So you've really got to understand that this is the power and this is why they hate cryptocurrencies. This is why they're only just wanting to get into cryptocurrency or tokenization of securities. They don't want everyday mums and dads to become financially independent because therefore they lack the control they currently have over you, right? We don't have car loans, guys. I drive a $1,600 scooter around, you know, the beaches of Manly because if it ever breaks down, I'll just leave it on the side of the road and buy another one, right? <laughs> I won't do that, guys. I'd actually get it picked up, then thrown in a heap and burnt or something and then go buy another one, right? <laughs> so it comes down to, you know, my wife's got a beautiful car. She, that's, that's her gig. Me, I'm just, I'm like a kid in a candy store right here. I've got tattoos team. I'm just the normal dude, but I'm, I'm about 130 kilos right now. And I'm on a, a tiny little scooter going, you know, with a real bikey helmet and everything. So <laughs> you got to do what you love, right? So think about it this way, guys. If you want to start um, 
now that you know this information that you've seen so far, you've got two choices, right? You can stay in the old way. And if you think about it from a pie perspective, Wall Street really does this with your portfolio, right? They just go, and they eat most of your money. And then what actually happens, guys, is this is the pie they leave us, okay? And if you don't get that reference, guys, then I would suggest you watch American Pie, the movie, and see exactly what happened to that pie, okay? <laughs> but that's what happens to your pie. <laughs> all right, team. So I want you to really think about that. Now, there is a better way, all right? There is definitely a better way. Now, when you understand how you can build a better portfolio, you can start to get opportunities. And it's not just in shares or just in property, but one of the biggest um, landowners right now, right, is actually Bill Gates, right? Whether you like him or not, he understands that, you know, when you're looking for legacy products, property, uh, land, all that sort of stuff is there. Now, we were educating our, com our community on farmland partners, right? We got it in at $6.96. And less than six months later, you know, it was, it was priced at $11.42. Innovative industrial properties, $121,214, around the same time frame, guys. This is one of my favorites, guys, is a called uh, Bray Ma Hotel and Resorts. Now, this is a real estate investment trust in the U.S., what I love about uh, real estate investment trusts in the US is they actually have to give 90% of their taxable income away as a dividend to the unit holders to, to keep their tax-free status. So we picked up, look at this, this is where COVID hit, guys. Um, so that went from nearly nine bucks down to uh, $2.40. We picked this up because if you think about it, um, and I want some answers here, guys, where are hotels in most, most cities around the world? Tourist, tourist? Tourist, yep, where else? Yeah, major cities, next to the financial. Major cities, seasides, prime real estate. That's it. Prime, prime real estate, right? So if you think about it, even if uh, the tourist industry never comes back to the strength we had it at, these are prime buildings. And these are the buildings, not the actual tenants. So these guys lease their buildings out to Hilton, Sheraton, um, whatever you, you, th that is, right? So, but here's the cool thing, guys. We picked it up at $2.47 because they had to give away 90% of their income uh, to us as unit holders. Look at the dividend yield, 25% per annum. Yeah. Who's got a who's got a property portfolio at twenty five percent per annum returns? Yeah, even if you bought in today around that six bucks, guys, you're still looking at a dividend yield of ten percent. Pretty cool, right? And this is because when you understand how to build your perfect portfolio, not me telling you how to do it, but how you build your perfect portfolio. Excuse me, these opportunities are everywhere. All right. Another couple guys, uh, five bucks to seven. Gen, even GE, you know, one of the oldest country uh, companies on the stock market, six bucks, nearly doubling in about five months. Yeah, and it's about understanding the the basics of this. So, guys, our definition of a uh, wealth pyramid, because that's how we're going to teach you how to build. Uh, our definition of of a pyramid is a structure that's going to to um, stand the test of time okay now i'd love it if you guys could get out a um <clears throat> a pen and paper and i want you to draw a triangle right a pyramid because we, we someone wanted to know our secrets right so i'm giving them to you now remember <laughs> that was one i mean <laughs> that's i remember one said yeah your secret okay here it is here's the secret source yeah Divided into six, guys. I want you to start thinking, uh, instead of the pie model, start looking at the triangle model. And you'll want to actually look at buying some, you know, foundational assets. And you, it's all about targeted return and asset allocation. So your targeted return is about 5 to 12% per annum. In some cases, like the Brahma uh, Hotel, Real Estate Investment Trust, if you're going to keep that forever, 
right? It, it, it was around 25%. So with your foundational assets, you've got a targeted return of five to 12% per annum, and you're looking to hold these assets forever, okay? The next part is wholesale assets. And this is literally, like I said earlier, buying a quality asset at a discounted price or buying it below fair market value is another way to see it. You're looking to hold these assets from between uh, one to three years and your targeted return is anything from 12 to 150% returns. The impact asset sector, or I also call it the focused asset sector, you're looking at returns of between 20 and 200% per annum, and you're looking to hold these for between two to 10 years. <clears throat> the next one, guys, is active trading. And you're looking at to get returns anywhere from 50% to 1,000% per annum, okay? And you're looking at uh, holding these trades for anywhere. It's probably seconds, to be brutally honest. Um, but you're looking from anything from four to nine months, okay? I, and I truly believe, guys, if you're a trader and uh, you actually hold a trade for longer than nine months, your ego's in the way and you're stuffed up. Okay, that's just my opinion. You could be going longer than that, but I, in, the, in the years that I've been doing this, guys, and I deal with traders a lot, most of them have made a mistake and they just cannot cop the loss and they hold it for no more than nine months. Your ego's in the way. My favorite one, guys, is the next one, which is wholesale cash flow. And you're looking at returns of anywhere from 12 to 60% per annum. Now, I do need to update that because one of our opportunities is averaging 120% per annum. And these opportunities generally last around one to five years, okay, whether you're going to get in or out of them. And then finally, guys, the last part of the pyramid is the early stage investing side and anything from 50 to 5,000% plus, right? And you are looking at, you know, holding these for about three to 10 years. Now, when it comes to cryptocurrency, right, you, this could be three to 10 months. And I've seen it time and time again. OK, there was a, uh, a token that was issued not that long ago called Alice, and it went up 64,000 percent in 30 minutes. OK, so you can't tell me it can't happen. It happens. <laughs> if you put one hundred dollars in Facebook right at the start, guys, that would be worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars today. Now. Who, uh, who thinks that uh, looking at these returns that I'm, that I'm sharing with you right now, who genuinely, and be honest, guys, who's thinking this is too good to be true? I think, I think even when I look at it, um, Mark, it, it not only <clears throat> is against the norms of what we've taught, and I mean, by the way, I've already seen this, but even when I listen to you again, it, it sounds too good to be true. But on top of that, I also think that, you know, I don't speak on behalf of others, I speak for myself, but understanding what those different things are in, a, in kind of more practical ways would also be useful, you know? So that last bit again, Scott, you just broke up. Your, your six different uh, sectors of your pyramid, understanding in practical terms what those are is also, you know, it's where, where you can put a, like a, a practical asset to a return and actually understand it. Um, because I think what most people are probably feeling is similar to myself, where it's a nice, pretty picture, but but what is that? You know, how do you actually do it? <clears throat> but wait, there's more. How about I share that with people, right? Would that be all right if I actually give some practical, <laughs> practical ways? How much time do I have today, anyway, team? Yeah, I, I, as much as you need. <laughs> people, can vote, people, well, people can vote with their feet, but I, I'm intrigued. <laughs> We're going to milk you for all the time we can. Look, I, I had a funny feeling the slide deck I brought up is actually a wealth acceleration workshop, and it's like a, a, a full day um, or in live or about five, five and a half hours if we do it online. So I've actually got that slide deck. So I can I can pretty much anything you guys want. I can just zip through a couple of slides and go, there you go. All right. 
Oh, I love this, guys. And this we hear this a lot, right? The challenge is the risk factor. One could get completely wiped out with such high return investments. Now, this is why I love because it's built. I love comments like that. So I think I'm going to give another 100 bucks Ethereum to you, uh, Mafino. Is it Mafino? Yep. So, guys, those we've got two lots of $100 have been given away already. Um, the way I work is you've got to chase me up, not me chase you up to give you your money. So I'll make sure you get my contact details afterwards um, and you chase me up and you you talk to anyone that I've ever given away money, guys, it, in this sort of stuff. I always pay my debts. Yeah. I'm a Lannister. Yeah. If you, if you yeah. If you guys have watched Game of Thrones, yeah, always, Lannister always pays its debts, right? <laughs> so guys, here's the thing. This is what I love about when you start to truly understand where it is that you want to be, right? The two data points I need for me to help you from a coaching perspective is where is it you actually want to be and where you are now? Once I have those two data points and I can help you, you build your perfect portfolio. But if you think about it, right, um, when you think about it, it's built like a pyramid and it's built like that for a reason. So you don't go and put the farm in early stage investing for a number of reasons because it can be risky. But I want you to truly understand this. The banks have educated you right where they want you. They've told you that anything over 10% is a risk. Here's the thing, guys. What a lot of people don't understand is they are making 365% per annum on your money alone, just in one part of the banking system, right? So don't give me that BS, right? That uh, high returns are risky because I can tell you right now, the banks don't do what they do, right? At a high risk level. So they understand that they can make 365% on your money. They love to tell you that paying you 0.5% is a good return and you should borrow it back at eights and fives and threes, all right? So I really want you to understand that you have been educated all the way through, through school, uh, the certain way, all through work, et cetera, et cetera. This is brand new to you guys. And I truly understand that I might be smashing some, some old belief systems and that's okay, right? But I can show you and I'll share a number of opportunities here um, shortly where, you know, these returns are happening and we get access to them every single day. We've got access to uh, a wholesale cash flow that's, that made 4.5% yesterday. 4.5% yesterday, all right? He's averaging over 10% a month. The, you don't have to do much. You're in full control of your money, right? And the thing that I like about what we do, guys, because I'm a massive fan of property, okay? But you think about it, when you can start building a cash flow, Right. Not only does it mean that you don't have to go to work as much so you can start, you know, one chunk at a time, start doing one hour or less a week of overtime, then two, then going down to part time, et cetera, et cetera. But then grabbing it and buying property at like what Scott showed us at the start, right, at $97 a time. That to me is incredible. You couldn't do that years ago. Right. You'd have to buy the whole bloody house. And sometimes buying the whole house is the worst thing. In fact, I think. <clears throat> right now, guys, I think buying the whole house is the riskiest thing we can do, especially when you can buy parts of houses and parts of commercial property and everything that Scott shows you, you know, that to me is the best way to build your foundational assets one chunk at a time. Does that make sense, team? Just want to make sure that we haven't, uh, haven't got people running away. You've got, you've got incredible... <laughs> Perfect. Bring it on. So if you think about today, guys, the, the old way was 4.0, and I love my mentor, Roger Hamilton. The minute he saw what we were doing, he threw me on a stage with a week's notice. <laughs> but he designed these next two uh, slides, and I like to keep them. Um, so if you think about it, how do you want to build your portfolio? The 4.0 way, you know, via a car, where it's all about asset plan, decisions based on single assets, success depends on the market, decisions required constant attention, high level stress, short-term success. Or do you actually want to build a portfolio? You build the portfolio, not me, not Scott, you, 
right? And we show you how to do that. And where decisions are based on the portfolio itself, the overall portfolio, the success depends on the plan. Decisions can be automated, right? I can tell you right now that every single person on this uh, call is not smarter than the current uh, automated investing systems out there, right? Uh, decisions can be automated or emotions are largely taken out and long-term success. And that's something I want you guys to really understand. Yeah. And just, just, <laughs> by, just by the way, um, you know, Mark, sorry to butt in, but what I was just sharing earlier with the four step uh, wealth formula, it is exactly this with the philosophy of, of um, what you've got with investor 5.0, because it's where people create a plan and then they stick to the plan and they don't get caught up as, is this investment better or worse than this investment? It's it's does it fit your plan? Yes or no? And that that's why it, it's so interesting what you've got here under the portfolio plan and some of the tools that we've been sharing over the last couple of weeks and months. Um, that and and why they you know why they all resonate together um, in terms of where the world's going. Oh, absolutely! I can tell you right now to become truly wealthy in in uh, the the next five years, it's all about collaboration, right? Not competition, collaboration. And this is why I'm getting on so many other uh, uh, like-minded communities, guys, is because this is the glue, right? This is the missing part. I'm not selling property. I'm not selling shares. I'm not selling crypto. I'm just saying, hey, if you build your perfect portfolio the way that you need to, right, you're going to get far wealthier than anyone else and having people like Scott in your corner and other people that other experts and Chaddy, Chad is, <clears throat> we're loving his product, right? We've put that on our uh, opportunities list because um, it's cash flow, right? It's fairly liquid, um, you know, to me, and I know Chad wants to put it as a foundational asset, but I see it as wholesale cash flow, right? Just from the liquidity thing. But the thing is guys, just because it's higher on the pyramid doesn't mean it's riskier. It's actually can be less risky right up there if you built your portfolio right and that's something i want you guys to truly understand so you wanted some examples right some actual practical examples so guys practical examples in the foundational assets uh is property blue chip shares gold silver diamonds right now make sure you're buying your diamonds at wholesale or if you are looking at diamonds uh the best ones we believe from an investment perspective are pink and the reason being, guys, is because the last pink diamond on the planet is closed, right? Closed this year or late last year. So you can't get them anymore. Zippo. No one's even looking for pink diamonds anymore. And they've had an average return of well over 13 or 15% per annum over the last seven odd years. And uh, they'll continue to do so. The other thing I like about diamonds, guys, is that it doesn't go off on metal detectors if you're leaving the country, right? <clears throat> <laughs> not financial advice it's just physics <laughs> uh i believe bitcoin guys but that's my personal opinion right i believe uh that that and with it when you if you are thinking about putting bitcoin in a foundational asset must be offline must be on one of these things like a nano ledger or a trezor uh i flip which I could share about another day and for one we what we call our four share strategy. On the wholesale side of things, it is buying distressed properties or doing renovations, right? Forcing that equity, buying a quality asset at a discounted price, commercial real estate and things here in New Zealand called duplexes where you put build two buildings on the one, cut it in half the title wise, that gives you an instant uplift in equity. Okay, the next couple guys is your impact asset sector. You're looking at healthcare, medical marijuana, oil and gas, tech industry, sustainable energy, education, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, ETFs, the best way to look at that sector, I believe is via ETFs, which is exchange traded funds. Uh, and if you wanna go to the best, uh, the, the absolute best website on the planet for ETFs, go to ETFDB. Dot com. So exchange trade to fund database dot com. The, the best due diligence you can you can find on the planet when it comes to building your own exchange trade to funds. On active trading, trading anything, guys, trading shares, forex, crypto, options, future, gold, oil, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. 
And then the top half is things like mirror trading, copy trading, social trading, dividends, private lending, and early stages, cryptocurrencies, ICOs, initial coin offerings, IEOs, initial exchange offerings, or pre-IPOs, initial public offerings, and public placements. And that's the stuff that you can put into your perfect portfolio. Now, like I said, to actually start to get really understand how to get the asset allocation right, you need to know where it is that you want to be, right? And where, again, where people get it wrong on that side is they go, oh, I need $100,000 a year to live on. How do you know that? How have you actually costed out what your ideal life would be, right? Believe it or not, guys, Billy and I, uh, we only need our, our financial independence number. It's $186,000 a year. That's it, right? We don't need to live, right? Like, like you know, have a million dollars a year to live the life we're leading. <laughs> yeah. And we've got cash flow that actually does is actually three times that. So we're location dependent right now, not uh, location independent. We promised our girls that we will live here in Sydney uh, until they finish their schooling, which we've got a year and a half to go then we're location independent and we're going to, you know, spend some time in America, um, in Japan, in Spain, in that very first year of, you know, traveling around and, and building our business the way we've done it, right? Okay. That makes sense? Yep. Cool. So I just want to uh, just stop the share for a bit, guys, and just get a bit of uh, where's everyone's heads at? Everyone going, Mark, you scammy bastard, or like, <laughs> where are we at? <laughs> yeah. Jay, uh, iFlip's brilliant. Um, unfortunately, not available to uh, South Africa at this stage, uh, but I can work on that. Definitely, I think you're in the US anyway. Um, can put you in touch with the, the CEO and the, the creator of iFlip if you want to have a look at it. Yeah. What is Outflip? Does it remember? Uh, it's an automated share trading platform, right? Um, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. My my portfolio last year in Outflip made seventy five percent, and it was actually built by an ex hedge fund manager. So, uh, and they're actually bringing out a crypto one at the end of this year as well. Can't wait. So exciting. So they more... then... yeah. Sorry, Scott. Not really. I was going to say that then answers the question that was posted earlier, that if you have no trading experience, how are you expected to put that part of your pyramid together? So here's the cool thing, team. You don't have to actually put um, assets in every single one of these. Right. So Billy and I, we've got nothing in the active trading and we've got nothing in focused assets. Yeah. So our pyramids a lot shorter and we're OK with that because it works. It works on what you need, not what we need, not what the advisor is trying to sell you. OK, that's the key here, guys. You, we we put everything on it. Hey, Scott, it's a, you're responsible for getting back to me in the coaching. Right. You do your homework, book in another call. You put everything. We put everything into you as responsibility because here's the thing guys and i I, I've, I experienced it in all my years as a financial advisor people who are seeking advice are actually seeking someone to blame but people who are seeking education are seeking responsibility on their decisions yeah i love that you know the last crash my <laughs> uncle said to me because my uncle's a successful stockbroker and he, he said to me in the last crash he said scott when people make money they clever and when they lose money, I'm stupid. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, look, I, I got sued three times as a financial advisor for giving the right advice. Like literally, and that, the last one I went, I'm out. I'm not just going to educate people who want to be educated. <laughs> um, and, and this is... Uh, where are we at? Cool. How about I give you guys some actual opportunities out there? Would you like that? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Just before you go there, I just wanted to make a comment that um, Shireen said, 
where she said it's it's all good, but there's a surprising amount of instruments in your examples that I don't know about. You know, Shireen, I, I was making a video just this morning about this and with Chad online. You know, I am, I don't want to sound arrogant here, but, you know, I've got an honors degree cum laude, a master's degree cum laude, and every other piece of paper that supposedly is worth worth something. And, and Chad came to me two years ago and he said, I'm investing in structured notes. And I was like, I never even heard of what a structured note was. And subsequently in the last two years, I've now so, I've found out that all wealthy people are investing in structured notes. So much so that one of the wealthiest people I know who I've known for more than a decade um, had a massive exit in his business in 2007. And he, he took that money and he's been investing in all different assets for the last, what's that, 14 years. And he said his number one asset is structured notes. And yet, you know, I didn't even know what a structured note was two years ago. And, and I challenge a lot of people that before Cashbox and Wealth Migrate and, and teaching what structured notes were, neither did most other people. So I just wanted to acknowledge Shireen and say, you know, I think what, what I've realized is that I used to stand on stage and say, we're trying to solve the wealth gap and I'm part of the haves and we're trying to help the have nots. But what I'm now saying is that I'm part of the have nots and we, you know, we, we, we are the wealth gap like because we don't even know what we don't, don't know, you know? <laughs> yeah, and you don't, right? And that's why I have that disclaimer, guys. You can find this information yourself if you get off Facebook, Tinder or Netflix, right? Where's your, where's your, your priorities? You know, if you truly want to be wealthy, you need to spend about seven to 10 hours a week getting up to speed because even in the crypto space, I could spend 80 hours a week and still be behind the eight ball. You know, we're investing in stuff in, in crypto that's making 5% per month. We get, we've got stuff that just sits there making 10% per annum. And we've got stuff that's sitting in crypto that's making over 200% per annum and, and we believe they're safe, right? We actually think they are less riskier than sitting in the bank. Now most, and I, I actually need to check on South Africa guys, but most people don't know, but uh, the UK, America, Australia, New Zealand, we've got a bail-in clause. So our banks can actually steal our money when they get in the shit, right? Legally. So if you think money sitting in the bank is the safest thing, you're wrong, okay? It's as simple as that. <laughs> And you, again, everything I say, right, you can go and find this stuff out yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, right? So I'm just going to share a couple of my favorites, guys. If uh, who'd, who'd like someone to give them 250,000 US to learn how to trade Forex? Hey. I'm the front of the queue here. I don't, you know, we've got lots of. <laughs> He's on here, but I'm going, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, here, here's a couple of websites, right? Here's uh, Apparary Fund. They actually will share up to 80% of the profits, right? They'll teach you how to trade. So you learn, yeah? And they teach you how to trade. And if you uh, pass their test, they're pretty strict. It is literally a strike one and you're out. But if you actually um, pass their test, they will give you their money to trade with, Okay. And that's what I love. So imagine being able to learn how to trade Forex with someone else's money. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Are you meant to be sharing anything, Mark? Probably am, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Try that. Apparary Fund. They have been around for years, guys. They are teaching people how to trade. I think they cost about 99 bucks, maybe a little bit more these days. Um, but yeah, if you actually get in there, they'll give you up to $250,000, might be a little bit more. Another company that does it as well is uh, Top Step. There we go. Top Step as well. Same thing. They teach you how to trade. One, either Top Step or Apparary, one of them will give you up to $400,000 of their money. Yeah. So, and you get 80% of the profit. Pretty cool, yeah? Who's up for that? Just simple stuff, guys. Like I've got so many, uh, so many um, opportunities I could share with you. I just don't know how much time I've got left. Um, here's one of my favorites. Uh, Members of IAW guys, we uh, had the trader on on the weekend. 
so this is a Forex trader. If you don't want to learn how to trade, this guy will trade for you, okay? So the money stays in your brokerage account and it's a copy trading service so that when he trades, you trade, right? Love it. I love what, what happens is you basically share the profit, okay, at a 70-30 split, 70 for you, 30 for him, uh, and you pay him weekly. And the, the, his strike rate's pretty good. Like he has an 86% uh, win ratio to a loss. And like I said, he's averaging well over 10% per month. Okay. And he hit four before four and a half yesterday. So these, and, and the back office, all the, the software, you have complete control of how you, all the parameters that you have with stops and limits, what um, pairs you need to, to go with, etc cetera, etc cetera. so this opportunity here is is for members only right at this stage but the, what i love about it if you think about it um, in this case if you put five thousand dollars in and it averages ten percent it's doing more than that ten percent per month that's five hundred dollars yeah so think about what you could use that 500 bucks for would it, you know, you could cover the electricity or you could buy three units in, in the latest property, right? Every single month and the other 200 bucks to pay your electricity bills or whatever. It all comes down to you. And I truly, like I said, that I, I found years ago, cash flow is what gives you your time back. Capital is what allows you to keep it. So that's why you want to get this portfolio and you can start getting, building that cash flow to get your time back. Think about how much time you could become a better investor if you didn't have to turn up to that nine to five stuff, right? And unfortunately, you know, if you're a business owner, it's not never nine to five, right? It's 18 hours a day, <laughs> right? Sometimes you get up at 3 a.m. in the morning because you like it, because <laughs> you can, right? Think of it like that's this is it, guys. Like I look at my day today, and it's like I'm actually back on uh, the education summit with Roger at six thirty this afternoon, right? So I look and I go, I'll probably go back to bed, get up about ten. We're going to go for a bush walk at around ten o'clock today uh, with my amazing wife, and you know have lunch somewhere, and then probably have a, a nana nap in the afternoon, ready for this afternoon, right? Who, who'd like to have control like that? That's what you can do when you start building your perfect portfolio, yeah and make an impact. That's the part I love. What other opportunities would you guys like to see? What types of opportunities I should ask? I should ask a bit of question. Here's one guys in the crypto space, uh, favorite of mine, Copy Pro Trader. We're averaging about 5%, uh, five to 10% per month, same deal, but it's in the crypto space. Uh, and it's, I think it's $99 US to, to get access to it. And um, what I like about this one is it's in the, yeah, it's like I said, it's in the crypto space. Um, I'm using it as a cash flow strategy. Um, and well, right now, some people, because of the, the, the market movements, we're in a bit of a holding pattern uh, in this opportunity. But, uh, you know, I like that one as well. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. here's the iFlip one guys so I've known Randy the CEO uh, for about 10 years Kelly Korshank he's an ex-hedge fund manager uh, and incredible guy uh, incredible honestly Scott I could do an intro these two would be well worth jumping on one of your wealthy Wednesdays um, Kelly just, uh, look, he's run billions of dollars. He, he built the algorithms for the big boys to play with. And now he's created the system that, uh, you know, we can get access to it. The old mum and dads. Uh, the app isn't available, uh, only in the U S and, uh, and Australia. And it's only available in Australia because I know the CEO and I told him he had to have it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's as simple as this, guys. You you can do a custom portfolio or you can go, hey, Kelly's smarter than I am. I'll just go with what he's built. Here's some of the performances over the years, right? What I like about it is, uh, you know, the market uh, from a crash perspective when they back tested it, 
just when I first spoke to Kelly, he said the number one rule of the algorithm is, is the protection of your capital. So they don't turn around and say that they're going to, you know, get the lows and the highs. They, they just know the algorithm says based on this, it will go, you know, we need to get in here or we need to get out here. Okay. Here's my portfolio last year, guys, or the last five years, 2017, 43%, 2018, 22, 2019, 10, 2020, 75%. And uh, I've got update May and June, but up until May, I was at negative 0.4. Now, my care factor of being at there halfway through the year doesn't matter, right? Yeah, Laurel would be. Laurel knows um, uh, Randy really, really well. Um, and I was part of Laurel's community for a number of years. So went out and built my own. So, uh, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great product, guys. If uh, Chad, did you say that you've got it up and running in South Africa? Wasn't sure if that's uh, what you were meaning there. Ah, sweet. All right, guys, book in a call then. Grab out your phones. If it's oh shit, is it right with you, Scott? Too late now. Yeah. Book. <laughs> um, look, they, they, they. they I, I, I trust them with my reputation. If you want to see how it works, guys, just literally um, get out your phones, book in a call with Lee. They'll do a demo to show you how it works. Um, and if you want to, uh, and again, I don't quote price, prices, guys, because Lee, if you get them on a good day, you'll get a really, really good discount. Either way, just say that Mark sent you and you'll be fine. All right. I'll look after you. It's really, really well. Um, who wants some crypto? Yeah, I think a bunch of people asked about it earlier. <laughs> All right, I've got this session. Uh, this is this is one of my favorite sessions on the day, guys. Cash flow. Um, I will run through this. More than happy to do a, a full wealth acceleration workshop, guys, for your your community anytime, Scott. Just let me know. Um, See that? Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's my favorite. It worked. Like I said, it worked well until South Africa. Well, England stuffed it. Wouldn't it have been a great final, right? All Black South Africa. I actually don't want to admit this. Can you uh, take it off record? But I think South Africa still would have pipped us at the post, mate. They were, they were a great team that year. Um, let me get into some of the good stuff. Guys, if you want to start automating your trading in crypto, have a look at three commas. Um, by far one of the better um, platforms out there. And what I like the, the, with this is you can start building rules around your trading, right? So if you want to learn to trade and you want to take most of the emotion out of it, look at three commas as a, uh, a platform. Another one out there is called Crypto Hopper. Now, this is another good, good quality platform, again, to start building rules around your trading. Uh, I mentioned Copy Pro Traders, right? This, what I like about Copy Pro Traders is you get to choose the trader who you want to deal with. Now, Marcus is my, uh, my personal trader, and I've actually, done, um, he's got a, a private service as well. Um, outside Copy Pro, which I'm also a part of. And look, some of the signals that he's done, guys. Um, uh, so the, oh, the two crypto is three commas is a good platform to start building rules and Crypto Hopper. Uh, those two platforms, very, very reputable uh, when you want to take the emotions out of your trading. Yeah, it takes a little bit to, um, bit of, um, you can do demo accounts with them. So, you know, you don't jump straight in and start creating rules. You want to learn how it works, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Marcus is pretty good. It's really simple, guys. You just literally pick the amount you want to trade. This is the back office side of things. You choose the, the uh, exchange, pick the trader, <clears throat> and it starts trading. Like these are all the trades uh, from the back office. 
What I've been doing with this account, like I said, is I just scrape it. So from a 10,000 US dollars, every time it gets over every Friday, I would just take everything over 10 grand um, and put it into something else, right? Does that make sense? No, the, the, the crypto actually stays on your platform, guys, using API keys. That's what, again, it's all about. Most of the opportunities we have is all about control for you, yeah? So like, it's such an easy way to do it. Um, another way, guys, if you want to get into arbitrage, here's one of the best ones out there, Pinex. This is how simple it can be, yeah? Earn between 15 to 50% per annum, right? And all they do is you just click what you want to do and they do the arbitrage for you. <laughs> it's so good, right? Some other good platforms, guys, if you want to get into managing your portfolio, but you, you don't want to do much to it. Stacked, another one, good reputable um, platform, and it helps you build uh, portfolios around it. Yeah. If you want to stake, guys, Nexo is my favorite. Um, what I like about Nexo is if you have a look at this, you put 1600 bucks in, gives you an automatic credit line. So if you didn't want to sell your Bitcoin, you could borrow up to 50% of it back and put that into something else. Yeah. So this is literally like keeping something that you might say believe in and then go throw it in, you know, again, go put it into real estate. Like there's eight units you can buy. Are they called units at 97 bucks, Scott? Like, yeah, well, yeah, I mean that, yeah. Or is it 97 units? Like, is it a dollar a unit? Actually, well, it's actually quite interesting because as, uh, <laughs> as Lyndon said to me once, we have tokenized real estate, it's a dollar per unit. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much, uh, it's probably 97 units to be exact. 97 units, right? So you, I look at that and I go, I could buy 824 units and still keep my Bitcoin. So all of a sudden, I'm in a forever, a foundational asset, right? And for most people who don't understand Bitcoin, you could, you could also be in a speculative asset. Yeah. But here's the cool thing. My Bitcoin is also earning interest. How freaking cool is that? Making a lot of sense. Cool. Another one we like, guys, is Celsius um, is, is there. Look, I won't get into this one, but look at this. 103% returns. Um, that's actually more than that uh, now. If you wanted to go staking, and, and I know you'll have to rewatch some of these guys, but here's a ton of um, uh, providers that show you how to stake, right? <laughs> Jay's got eye flip on her phone already. Love it. See how many places there are? Like, <clears throat> we don't recommend most of these guys because we haven't actually used them ourselves. Uh, but it's just showing you how many opportunities are out there when you want to look for them, right? Here's one of our favorites, guys. Um, our actual personal private trader uses this to help protect our capital. 600% return, right? Year in, year out basis. Love it. Currently, currently down to about 200%, uh, I think, from memory. I'd have to check my account, right? But if you want to uh, lend money as well, here's some of the money that, uh, types of returns you can get, guys, just by having your money sit in your um, uh, sit in your accounts, right? And most of these have massive insurances. Let me see if I can share another screen as well, because a lot of the one of the things we hear, guys is um, uh, all right, that's all good, but you know, how do we, how do we spend it? My phone showing? Uh, not yet. Come on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sorry, team. Right. 
it's not going to work. But guys, here's um, here's my uh, Cryptarium. One of my favorites. What I like about it is you can have virtual cards, right? So if I wanted to spend my crypto, you don't have to put it back to a bloody bank, right? I've got a virtual Visa card. You can get a, a, a real one sent to you as well if you wanted to. And say, say if Scott had something to buy, I could go bang, double click it on my uh, pay, right? And spend my money, spend my crypto. So you don't need banks anymore. You literally don't need banks anymore, okay? Stop giving them your bloody money. They'll just steal it off you legally at some point. <laughs> true story right I was meant to say at the start Scott is it okay if I tell you straight and bash you around the heads with some facts <laughs> don't <laughs> I think that was covered in your disclaimer in the beginning when you mentioned yes. Facebook and we're yeah. all good Look, some of the other things, guys, I highly recommend you don't get into yield farming at this stage. But if you wanted to get into yield farming, go to yield. They do it for you. OK, they, they look to actually help it. Um, uh, yeah. And, you know, we're making crazy returns in there. That's definitely speculative. But think about this. If you're making 500 percent returns, et cetera, et cetera, it doesn't take long. We always suggest get your capital out as fast as possible. Right. Invest it into lower um, parts of the pyramid, right? And that's how you can start to speed things up. And, you know, there's a, a strategy that I won't have time to share today, guys, but I, I, I'm sharing a strategy where if you put $50,000 into one of our opportunities and every month you take it out, put it into another one, you compound it there. And then at the six month mark, you then take it out of there and compound it into another one. 50 grand will turn into 107,000, right, in 12 months and give you a, a income of about 77,000 a year. Yeah. That's financial freedom. Most, I know a lot of people who could live around the world on 70 grand a year. Yeah, it's just about that whole education process and understanding what's out there, what's available to you, yeah? And the thing that makes me laugh about crypto, guys, is people go, um, you know, it must be a scam, you know, paying 10%. The thing about crypto and why the governments are so scared about it is because crypto cuts out all the middlemen, right? And the biggest middlemen on the country, on the whole planet are governments. In fact, they've got middlemen within middlemen within middlemen within middlemen, right? <laughs> Banks could actually afford to pay us 10% on our money if they chose to. They just choose not to because they've got you educated right where they want you. Yeah? Make sense? Cool. What else do you guys want to know? So, Mark, I think, I think one of the things that I'd like, you know, for the community, and I'm just conscious of people's time, is that, you know, for those that are interested and and, you know, great huge amount of information tonight most people are probably feeling similar to myself which is overwhelmed and i don't even know where to get started or what it means what what is the international academy of wealth how do you guys operate um how does someone you know get started basically um if they're wanting to do it in a like-minded mastermind versus trying to do it all on the on their own yeah well um, as you've experienced, Scott, we are an invitation only or application only community. We want to deal with like-minded people. Um, the only rule we have in the community is no dickheads, right? Um, and we have actually said no to people. We've kicked people out within a week. You know, we have most dickheads who um, they show themselves one way or another. And we've, we've always done it that way. Just because you've got a pulse and a credit card doesn't mean you're going to get in. Okay. So um, the best thing to do would be to just, just have a call with me, right? Uh, like I said, I'm more than happy to share my time um, with you. You can scan that or uh, I think Lee's got a, a link as well if that works better. Um, and we're just going to there's just spend probably about 25, 30 minutes on the phone and we're just going to go, hey, guys, I only asked three questions, right? Where are, where are you based, right? Because we, we are global, so it's good to know that. Where are you based? How can I help and what do you need from me? Just three simple questions is all I'm going to ask on that phone call. Yeah. 
if we can help, we'll uh, we'll let you know what the next steps are. If we can't, right, we probably know somebody who can help you, and uh, we'll just point you in the right direction. Brilliant. <clears throat> so this is the um, this is the journey I've gone through after Chad introduced you know, and we had that chat, I've, I've actually, you know, signed up and, and I've had my one-to-one -one mentoring session with Mark. And now, as you, as you saw, I've got a whole bunch of homework to do. And, um, and I've got my follow-up on Friday, actually. So, I'm, you know, it's something that I'm going through myself personally, um, just, you know, from a, I'm not going to sit here and, <clears throat> and say I've been doing it for six months. I haven't. I'm in the beginning phases. But I've, I've been very, very intrigued. And as I said, I've got a lot of time and respect for Chad. And he speaks very highly of you, Mark. So, you know, that, that meant a lot to me as well, um, on top of Roger. So you know, for our community out there, you know, um, do, uh, do, chat with, uh, do chat with Mark. I know that he also said to me, I don't know if he's going to let me say it, but they are putting, changing their price from Aussie dollars to US dollars. And he said that for our community, he'll keep it at the uh, Aussie dollar price. So um yeah <clears throat> thanks thanks very much for that mark because uh you know we're obviously always wanting to add value to our you know our community the, the, the our aim is to never kind of be a sellathon but but you know i love the term wealth hackers and and for someone like yourself you're sharing with our community on how to hack your way to success and you know this you know you, you've shared so much tonight and i just think it's it's great for our community to be able to learn you know oh look that's what we're here for right we can't help everybody right um in our community and stuff but if we can you know if we can at least get you guys to start thinking that there are better ways to to do things then my job's done right that's what i like the most so um i just also shared my email guys so because like i said oh we didn't end up giving it all away so maybe we should uh um two things guys if you want a copy of my book i've got five real copies if you want me to post it yes we will cover postage there's none of that like i said there's no, no tricky stuff happening here um so if you want just email me i'll get it with your um postal address we'll get the first five people best and best dressed we'll do that and the first three people that um book in a call with me will get the other hundred dollar lots of ethereum how does that sound yeah no awesome Awesome, thank you very much. Can I share here quickly that link that you've? I'm just going to steal the, the the screen back here quickly. This is the um, this is the book that uh, that is referring to, and uh, yeah, so you can you can go and look at it. And um, I'd just like to wrap up with two or three slides, and then just see if there's any Q and A, if you don't mind, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So just uh, just uh, something that uh, one of our partners, uh, Shane, created. Um, I have put the link in the chat box. I'll put it in again. But for the people that have actually turned up live on Wealthy Wednesday, um, we're actually we're giving you the four-step formula so that you can get started and also access to that offshore investor breakfast. So literally with that link, all you do is you put in your email. Um, it'll take you to the Wealth University. The investor breakfast is being uploaded um, as we speak. So we are going to um, actually make both of those a paid-for product. But for now... Uh, we're wanting just to share it with people. So in terms of the next steps, if you want to um, get some of the stuff from the Wealth University, uh, that is the link that is we've put in the chat box. Um, with regards to our platform, you know, go on the platform KYC and fund your wallets. The one thing that I love about our deals team is that we've got great deals coming through on a regular basis. You know, one of Chad's Cashbox deals actually got funded in 24 hours. So please don't wait until the deals come on the platform you've got to have pre-funded your, your wallet to be able to participate. Um, you know, go to the platform Wealth Migrate and, and, and literally sign up, start looking around. And then with regards to Mark, um, you've, you've got the opportunity there to contact Mark directly and, and there's actually a link uh, for that. So um, those are the links. I'm gonna leave those on the screen so that everyone um, has access to them. And yeah, I think I just wanted to see, there were quite a few questions that came through in the Q and A. Um, so there was a question here from Serene. How do you unbank if you are salaried? Uh, hey, great question. So you would have to use for now the gateway, right? Um, and and uh, but as soon as it hits your bank, get it out, get it straight into the the crypto space. And then Jay's asked, "What was the big picture reference Mark just mentioned?" I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. I don't Big picture. 
Maybe Jay, if you could just put a, in the chat box, just let us know there. Um, I just want to see in the chat box if there's anything else uh, that's come through. Lock five visa has a waiting list. It's global now. Uh, Mark, this has been great. A lot here, but lovely takeaways to work on in the meantime. Hope to learn from you again. Thank you, already booked. Thanks for the downloadable book. I've been on a call before, would love to catch up. Uh, book the call, book, book in another. Thanks, lots of people saying thank you. <laughs> lots of people booking a call. Um, so just, uh, just it is, uh, what, 4.30, nearly a.m. in the morning, Sydney time. And as he said, he's got a very important bushwalk to go on. So uh, <laughs> I'll see you on the education summit later. But um, any, any final questions uh, from anyone? And then we can just go to final thoughts and then close out. I don't see any other questions coming through, Scott. Excellent. Okay, Lee. Well, do you want to do you want to wrap up, and uh, we can just have final comments from uh, from Mark, myself, and yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So, thank you both for being on, Mark. Especially you for getting up at the ridiculous devil o'clock of of three a.m. But we loved your energy and all the information that you shared. Thank you very much to our attendees for being online. As all of you, every time Mark said, should I stay on longer? How much time? You begged him for more time. So I'm sure we're going to have a follow-up session with Mark in the coming months um, to drain his brain a little bit more and get some pearls of wisdom shared. Um, the recording will be made available most likely tomorrow once it is ready um, in a format that we can share. I have taken notes of everyone who has requested session one as well. So those will be going out to our community. And for those who haven't booked your, your call with Mark yet, my only question to you is why not? Mm -hmm. Because he has steps in place to meet you exactly where you are on your journey and help you grow. So please do look for that, book your call. As Mark said, it's 30 minutes of his time where he will actually tell you honestly what he can do for you and how to move forward. So invest in your time, give yourself the gift of 30 minutes with Mark. Thank you very much, guys. Really do appreciate you being online with me today. Too easy. Thanks Lee and uh, Mark, really appreciate you and, and being up, you know, you know, thanks to the community for everyone. I love sharing these things. You know, it's, it's, I think it was Shrein that says, you know, half of these things she's never heard of before. And I think the lights are coming on literally proverbially for all of us, that there's a whole nother world out there. And I like the fact that property and, and real estate is in your foundational assets. Um, it allows me to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, however, saying that um, there's a lot more on top of the pyramid that people can add in terms of building a globally um, diversified portfolio. And the one thing that I think resonates with yourself, Lee, myself, and our entire community is providing people with the ability to create freedom in their lives. You know, that, that's really what I'm passionate about. And, uh, and it's interesting because you, you see it happening and you start to feel it yourself. And it's amazing when the light bulb come on for people that it's actually possible in their lives. So thank you again for being a catalyst for that change. I really appreciate it. No, thanks for the opportunity, guys, to share my knowledge. Like I said, I've been in the, yeah, industry 30 32 years and i don't look it and i only look like i'm 30 but that's uh that's how we're at <laughs> but guys just look please just you know um do your own research the the banks have got you right where they've educated you and you need to uneducate yourself right now and then re-educate you right hang around with like-minded people get in on these wealthy wednesdays guys this is this is the the stuff that's going to help you get there and uh, reach out to other people in the community, right? And, and hang out. Start hanging out with people. Have different conversations because you'll start to really accelerate your growth and your wealth when you start having different conversations. That was awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for all the very kind comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cool. Thanks, Thanks. Lee. Scott. Thanks, everyone. Bye, then. Thanks, everybody. Take care.